Defense Secretary James Mattis says Congress is throwing cold water on his efforts to modernize the military. One America's Thomas Chessie has more on why antiquated military bases are so hard to close. The sound of freedom. That's how Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price describes the howl of fighter jets lifting off from Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base, Fort Worth. Residents of Texas' fifth largest city welcome the noise not because of any particular affinity for aviation, but because of the economic boost the reserve base provides. Like a lot of military towns across the United States, JRB Fort Worth is one of the city's largest employers, providing more than 11,000 jobs to the area. The only problem, the Pentagon says, the military is 22 percent over capacity, leaving many bases across all branches of the armed forces obsolete or underused. Further complicating matters, since 1988, the fate of U.S. military installations has not been in the hands of the Department of Defense. Instead, Congress decides what stays and what goes. As a result, Base Realignment and Closure, or BRAC, is a political hot potato. Few lawmakers in either party are willing to make the unpopular decision of closing some of the largest job centers in their respective communities. Then-Senator Jeff Sessions in 2005. The loss of a major installation, uh, Fort McClellan, in 1995 uh, affected us significantly in Alabama, and I spent many painful hours working through that process. And Senator Claire McCaskill in 2012. The impact BRAC has on communities around the country, in, in some in my home state, is extraordinary. An open letter to Congress, co-signed by 45 defense experts in January demanding a new round of BRAC, reignited the debate and the Trump administration is seemingly in agreement. In June, Defense Secretary James Mattis told Congress inaction on base closures is hampering his efforts to reorganize the military. The fiscal year 2018 budget request includes notable reform efforts, he said. I urge Congress to support the department's request for authority to conduct a 2021 BRAC round, a cornerstone of our effectiveness program. The department currently has more infrastructure capacity than required for operations. So far, Senator John McCain, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, and Representative Adam Smith, chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, have thrown their weight behind a new base closure commission for 2017. Thomas Chessie, One American News.